welcome to Season Your Words and Food with Grace. So I'm here with another video. This time I have some yellow rice. Uh, what I did after I got through making the yellow rice, I sauteed some onions, some bell pepper. Um, I put a little minced garlic in it. And at the very end, I had chopped up a little tomatoes in it and season it to my taste. I also got some broccoli. Um, and I don't know what's wrong with me, you all. I don't know. <laughs> but ever since I made that barbecue neck bones, yeah, I'm telling y'all, when I say it been over decades when I ate neck bones and I made that barbecue neck bones like I did back in the day, so this time, I found some at the farmer's market, way cheaper, way meatier, meatier. Uh, what other ones was meatier too? They was meaty. So, um, but yeah, so I wanted jerk. So as I always do with my pork, I do my vinegar and I let it set after I washed it and got the SS fed off it. Um... I let it soak in vinegar for to the next day, <laughs> hours and hours and hours. So I rinsed it real good, and I put my my Walker's wood, the spicy, um, the spicy kind. And you know me, I love the spice. I don't get no mouth. Um, I put that sister <laughs> all on it and let it marinate for hours. Then I grilled it and. After I got to grilling it, then I got the Walker's Wood spicy barbecue sauce and slather it all on there and let it finish cooking, grilling for, for that, um, that barbecue sauce to go all in it. So, yes, yeah, this is the finished product. This is the finished product. So, I have jerk neck bones. <laughs> Anyway, bless it, Lord. Purify with your blood. Take away every impurity in the name of Jesus. Bless those that are without. Look upon the homeless, the hungry, God. In the name of Jesus, provide. Make ways out of nowhere. And we thank you for it in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, amen. It's time to eat. Now, I'm not going to lie. I've been tasting this rice. It's fat. But you know this mean? I'm not a big rice person. There's only certain rice that I would do, like when I make my shrimp egg foo yarn or shrimp fried rice, which I haven't did in a while. Um, I'm not really a big rice person. Spaghetti. Um, I'm not, a, I guess it's just pasta. And, you know, I, I just, now when I make my spaghetti, I make my own with tomato sauce with real tomatoes, whole tomatoes, and that's the way I do manage to make my sauce over, and I like it meatless. But um, I have to have a taste for it. I'm I'm not a pasta person, so, and I'm just not getting into those noodles, but I'm using the rice kind, um, like for my pho, um, like that, so. But anyway, I love this, y'all. The way I saute them and put my seasoning and incorporated the um, yellow rice with it. Hmm. Thank you. Of course, y'all know I love my broccoli. Hmm. Hmm. When I wash my I let it drain real good. I put just a little bit of butter, just a little bit, and minced garlic. And I put, I let my pan get real hot. I put my broccoli in it, a little seasoning. Let it cook for a few minutes. That's it. I don't know if y'all can hear the crunch, but it still got a good crunch to it. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. 
I'm going to get to the jerk. Hold on, y'all. Mmm. Sound like somebody hit something out there. Let me get a little piece. Here y'all go. Jerk neck bones, y'all. Grilled. I don't want to be putting it so hard. Get all on my clothes. OMG. Trying to see who's that called. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh yeah, I did that. Mm-hmm. Mm. Lord, I don't want to go back to eating neck bones. <laughs> oh my God. But from that barbecue one I did and then this jerk. Oh. Mm. The barbecue one brought back memories. So I, I used to cook that back in the day. I never did the jerk. Mm hmm. Mm. But you know. Mm, mm, mm. That don't make no sense. It don't. Oh, God. Oh, God. Look at I feel the meat. You see that? Oh, God. Here we go. Oh, it's so good, y'all. Mmm. Mmm. Tell the Lord. Thank you. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. My cousin, when I told her, mm, mm, it used to be a song we used to sing. If I couldn't say a word, if I couldn't say a word, I would raise my hand. Baby, and a few seconds ago, all I could do was raise my hand. <laughs> mm. But you know what? I have made jerk rib tips. This is part of the pig. Let me tell you like some good old jerk rib tips to me. Mmm. They're good, I promise you. Mmm, mmm, mmm. And I'm eating early. Mm. It's two o'clock, two fifty three. Come back here. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. My granddaughter Serenity. Bussin. O M G. Woo. Mm. I mean the little pieces. Um. Mm. That grizzle. Yeah, I know I love my grizzles on my real tips. Mm. 
Oh, wow. I heard. Mmm. Piece of that grizzle. Oh, it's so good. I heard this here restaurant here in Georgia on the radio. And they was broadcasting about boneless red tips. And I was telling folks up in Illinois, we was like, boneless red tips? That ain't no red tip. Baby, that real tip's got to have, it got to have. Baby, that that be it. Oh, my God. Give me the grizzle. And you got to have some form of bone. So, but, not knocking them. A lot of folks probably stormed in there for that. But, um. Everybody had their own taste bud. They have their way to cook it. Their own style of cooking. Mm. <laughs> mm. 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 It's so good, y'all. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Yeah, it's fine. I wouldn't lie to you. God hates a liar. Mm. Mm. Oh my God. Oh God, I'm getting full. I'm getting full. Not, I'm not full yet. <laughs> but it's getting there. So y'all gotta, re you have to realize even though they say it's good for you, you gotta eat about four or five, six times a day. I can't, I, I cannot. Like if I get like a hot dog and, and I'm not talking about loaded hot dogs like I usually do mine. But if I get like a, just a hot dog and put a, a, a piece of bread on it, may put mustard on it, not that's it. I don't. I I do not want. It's like I stay full. No, I never had surgery. But that's the way I am. I've been like that. I call it old age. <laughs> I I can't eat like that. And so once I know that I'm eating this, it's a wrap. Oh, look at that bone. I don't want to pull it too hard and the sauce and stuff splash everywhere. Mm. Another piece of grizzle. <laughs> mm -hmm. Y'all. Hey. I didn't think about um, videoing it when I'm putting my joke, my joke all over it, the lettuce marinade, my jerk marinade, and grilling it. Mm. Oh, God, it's so good. Yeah. It's jerk. And yes, I got that. <clears throat> that spiciness going on. Mm. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. That is really good. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. I hope I don't start going back. Eating um neck bone. <laughs> no, I ain't into that. Oh, uh, that's a poor man food. Baby, whoever wanted it, that's do food and you could get it, you a blessed person, honey. My whole thing was Only pork that I was holding on to. Okay, there's a thing coming through my watch from my phone. Only pork that I was holding on to is hard to let go. That's my real tip. That's my bacon. And occasionally a pork chop sandwich. Like I just had me an awesome pork chop sandwich the other day. But I now... I'm not a fan of pork chops anymore. I could go months without eating it. Like I did. I had went months and months. And I decided to buy a pack. And I think it just had three in them. So, yeah. I could go without the pork chops. But I just, I wanted that. Ju I, really, it was like a Jewtown Polish. Anybody from Illinois, you know what I'm talking about with the Jewtown Polish and my mama used to always buy the Jewtown Polish. We go for the Polish. <laughs> but she always would. I mean, she used to always go for the pork chop. The Jewtown pork chops. We went for the Polish. She always got the the um, the um pork chops with all the onions. Anybody know about Jewtown? About all the slather of grilled onions and the pepper and stuff. So that's what I wanted. And I had a, a sandwich the other day, probably like, mm, I think it's some few days ago anyway. But I'm not a real fan of pork chops like I used to be. And if I could get real tips <laughs> and bacon, I know, I know I'd be good. I'd be through with the, uh, cause... All my vegetables, my, my beans, my greens, everything is, is um turkey. Turkey tails, you know. I'm not into ham hocks. Um, yeah, I'm just... So, I don't want... This is the bomb. And I don't want my desire to go back to neck bones. Because I was... I'm doing good, y'all. Well, I was. I was until I had them barbecue neck bone so yeah so I don't know but I was doing good I was doing good and this jerk and the way I just sucked that Jerk sauce up in that barbecue sauce. <laughs> the spice is in my back. Look at my throat. Mmm. 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 <laughs> it's good though, y'all. I promise you, dear. Look at here. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's so good. Oh my God. 
So, anyway. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh my God. Mm, mm, mm. It's so good. I know y'all sick of me saying it. Okay. But it's so good. You know, I was looking at my video yesterday when I was eating that foe. <laughs> I was tickling myself, especially the way I was smacking on there and slurping. But when I kept saying about the, I said flush, and I was talking about the flesh, and I kept saying, yeah, your flush, your flush, and I I said, ooh, flush. <laughs> I almost wanted to be like the internet person, you know, the one that always lurking at somebody's stuff, and they got something smart to say, but if you look at their account, they can't spell, well, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna talk about them, but, um. I should have got on there and say, um, sugar, it, it's not flush, it's flash. <laughs> all the slurping and all of that, I'm talking about flash, flush, flush. I meant flash, flash, your flash. But anyway, thank y'all so much for stopping by. I want to just send words of encouragement to you. Stand fast. Mm. In the liberty wherewith Christ had made you free, be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Don't go back. Don't look back. Don't smell back. Keep going. Press towards the mark for the prize of the high calling in Christ Jesus. Don't go back. Nothing but death, hell, and destruction back there. Don't be like a why well, I ain't going to say why I'm eating. But he be the, uh, and then go and eat it back. <laughs> I don't know why I still said it. But don't be like that animal. Y'all press towards the mark for the prize of the high calling. You know, I was up early this morning in prayer. And it's something how, like you said, the, uh, the spirit make an intercession for you. And... You you don't be knowing all the time what to pray for. I mean, you, you'll call out different names that was on you or you just pray for people as a whole and, you know, and you praying about this and praying for that. But sometimes, excuse me, God will put that prayer out of your mouth. And I was praying and, and this here word came to me and I was like, you know, not that I stopped praying, but I really was praying against it and got a call later about somebody that was going through. And I'm like, that's why God had me to pray. I mean, I was coming against it, pleading the blood, pulling it down in the name of Jesus, telling Satan, the Lord God rebuke you. I don't come in my own name, but I come in the mighty name of Jesus. Baby, I mean, I was just really praying and, you know, I didn't have no idea. That that was going on with a person. But God will give you who to pray for. What to pray against. What to come against. What to pull down. You know, it's the anointing that destroys the yoke. And I tell you, honey, it, it just, you know, seek the face of God. It's no, it's no time to go back. Many that used to walk with God, they no longer walking with God. They the enemy of the, of the cross. Some of them done denounce God. They denounce the. I mean, they saying, "Oh, it ain't nobody up there," you know, like, um, like he he's he's not of truth, you know. Um, they don't need him. I heard one lady on TV was talking about this. A dead man was like her God, and I'm like, you know, but I tell y'all. If you with Jesus, stay with Jesus. If you don't know him and a pardon of your sin, I admonish you. Get him. Get him. Repent. 
Repent. Invite him in your heart, in your life. Invite him in every part of you, every in your family, in your finance, in your job, everything about you. Invite him in. Invite him in, you know, and get God, get the Holy Ghost. You don't hear nobody really talking about the Holy Ghost. You know, they think the Holy Ghost is just shouting, just shouting and shout. That's, 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 that's no, that's bodily exercising. You just rejoicing. That's not the Holy Ghost. But um, get the Holy Ghost. Get saved. Be born again. Uh, Nicodemus said, what must I do to be saved? And so the thing is, ye must be born again. Well, how can I be born again? Can I go and re-enter into my mother's womb again? No. Not that way. You got to be born of the water and of the spirit. So I admonish you. I admonish you to see God like never before. If you say, stay saved. If you're not saved, get saved. God love you. He loved you so much he sent his only begotten son. I heard a man say one time, well, Jesus, the only reason why he died because he was doing what his father wanted him to do. It ain't because he, he loved us. It, you know, he was pretty much trying to put Jesus down like he only did it for the father. But you got to understand, Jesus had the same heart as his father's heart. He loved us so much. Because if he didn't, he could have called legions of angels and they would have came and fought for him. But what was on his father's mind, what was in his father's heart, the same thing was going on with Jesus. He loved you so much that he thought you was worth dying for. And he didn't stay dead. He got up with all power in heaven and in earth. He got up with power. So let me tell you, seek him. Get him while you can. Get him. Receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. That's the best. You know, they always say, um, I remember James Cleveland saying, Jesus is the best thing that ever happened to me. I do not own rights to that song. <laughs> but the thing is, I never, it was something about that song that would mess with me. And when I got more developed in God, he's not a thing. So he's not the best thing. I know what he was trying to say, but Jesus is the best that ever happened to me. Thing don't belong nowhere in that sentence. Jesus is the best. That ever happened to me. Until next time, let your words be seasoned with grace, your facial expression, boom, 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 and your fool. I'm full, y'all, but I am. I'm full, but I still see a little meat on that bone. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to get down in it. <laughs> but until next time, y'all be blessed. I love you with the love of God. Get saved. If you, if you are saved, stay saved. Don't look back. Don't go back. Don't even smell back. Because sometimes you could get a smell and be like, what, what, what's that smell? And you got to go investigate. Don't even smell. Don't go back. And those who not saved, get saved. Until next time, I love you with the love of God. Let your words, your facial expression, mm, barbecue sauce, <laughs> and your food be seasoned with grace. Goodbye. Love you.